It's Sunny and Finn's Games and Grabs podcast. This week, we take it easy and chat about some of the latest gaming and wrestling news. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 52 of the Games and Graps podcast. I'm Sunny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello! How you doing, Finn? I'm good, thank you. Very yeah? good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm pretty tired today, but I'm good. Cool. I think I woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. <laughs> exactly. I was grumpy. Oh, no. They had to face in the day at work. Yeah, well, that, yeah, that was the problem, you see. I woke up and I was like, God... <laughs> I'm so miserable. Ugh, I'm so <laughs> grumpy today. Like, for no reason, I'm literally just dragging my ass out of bed. Oh no! My fir- my first thoughts were, I'm miserable and I've got to get to work. Yeah, that's never good. Never a good sign. And I also, I think I tricked myself into believing I was ill this morning as well. <laughs> so I was sort of like, oh god, I'm grumpy. I'm tired. Oh god, I'm so ill as well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I made it through the day. Um, I finished work early. Watched nice. some sports when I got home. Sports. Sports. Yeah. Watched Man United win 1-0. Cool. And what? the second leg, which I taught you about today. Yes. You learned legs. about football and sports. I did. Sports have legs. Yeah. Did you, do you feel educated? I do. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be uh, going home and playing that FIFA? Of course. Yeah. I, lo- I love the FIFA. The FIFA, the FIFA Evolution Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> then you're gonna then you're gonna be into all the sports yes and you're gonna play Madden of course that's the NFL one yeah I know okay. the I don't know Amer- if you know Amer- Amer- American sport ball yeah and then you're gonna download the ice hockey and play with uh, Bearded Buffoon on Twitch <laughs> that's the one yep uh, I used like NHL they so play NHL Blitz on the GameCube Blitz. that's one of the not so serious ones though isn't it uh, yeah you got power up to me but so they were awesome though. NFL Blitz awesome. was good as well <laughs> yeah 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 I, was, I think I had okay. NFL Blitz on the Dreamcast. Nice. Wait, was it Blitz on NHL? I think NHL something hits, maybe. That sounds more like it. Yeah, I think that's quite And it. then NFL Blitz. Yeah. yeah. That's right, that sounds it. Mm. Um, I like the non serious sports games. Me too. They're actually fun. Yeah. We used <laughs> to play, uh, I think Steve mentioned it on the podcast last week, actually, but it was an NHL 3 on 3 arcade on Xbox uh, One. Yeah. And, no, sorry, Xbox 360 and PS4. Oh. Which was really, really cool. So I think I have to actually. I'm I think I've ever played it, but I've gotten on the sale of like super cheap. Yeah, it was yeah. really, really good. Apparently, an easy thousand G as well. Oh, nice. I checked it out. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of sports games are very good, to be fair. Cool. But um, obviously, I appreciate they're not your thing. Yeah. That's fine. Rocket League, though. Rocket League, League rules. So, so good. And uh, Disc Jam was also great. Yeah, Disc Jam was awesome. just the other day. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. Very cool. So, Finn. Hello. What have you been playing uh, since the last time we did this podcast? Um,. Well, I'm playing some more Resident Evil 7. Um, playing through it again on easy to get up any collectibles I missed. Uh, just so I can get work towards the Platinum Trophy. Um, How are you going on with it? All right, yeah. Just blasting through it now. I'm pretty much no game. Yeah. <laughs> pretty well by now. Um, unlocked like a super powerful like um, buzzsaw kind of weapon. Oh, which okay. You, which you unlocked by beating the game in the four hours, I think. Um, let's ch- test through everything. Test bosses and enemies and basically invincible at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so that's nice. Um so you're going to do one more playthrough on, um, what's it called, Madhouse? Madhouse, yeah. yeah. Going to do antique coins on that as well. Will that uh, um, seal the platinum for you? Uh, it will, yeah. Okay. One more playthrough, that's what I'm doing, and yeah. I'll play through it again at some point, I think. Yeah, it's only worth it. Madhouse gives you lots of new stuff as well, because like, you have limited saves. It's like kind of like ink ribbons, except they're uh, cassette tapes, okay. which is cool. Um, also, enemies are in different, different places, and you get hard enemies early in the game, and things like that. That's cool. Cool. I like stuff like that. Well played. Um, I'm gonna play the one the red DLC as well. I think that's quite quite fun. Is that the uh, the Redfield one that we don't know what it really is? Um, I'm gonna play that as well, obviously. Um, but I'm talking about the um, band footage ones. Oh, okay, the one. Yeah. So the Chris, the sorry, it's not Chris Redfield. In fact, we don't know we who, know who, who is, this yeah. Redfield character is. It's a mystery. Spoilers. Spoilers. Um, Spoilers. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not sorry. So I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that one's not out yet, is it? Uh, no, it's coming out in spring sometime. And it could be any time between yeah. you know, <laughs> now and like I don't know, May or something. Yeah. Um, but the band footage one is out, isn't it? Uh, yeah, band footage one in one and two are out now. One and two? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Two, two DLC packs. Are they paid oh, DLC packs? Uh, they are, yeah, sadly. Okay. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it looks pretty fun. So, my try those out, my streamer. Cool. Um, getting back into Final Fantasy 15. Had a little break from that while I was getting through Resident Evil and Paper Mario and all that stuff. Uh, got back into that, it's always fun. Just, uh, uh, they've just brought a new update out for, um, for it, haven't they? 
Uh, yes, actually, yeah. I think I've seen the patch that. downloaded. Well, I saw it on my PS4 yesterday, maybe. Yeah, I think they added some new stuff. I can't remember exactly what it was, but uh, more more cool stuff. I think, they, I think they increased the level cap. That's one thing I saw. Maybe I think they maybe changed up level th- um, chapter thirteen as well, perhaps. I know there was some complaints about it. Yeah, maybe. That'd be cool. Get some, mm. some, some more context for what the hell's going on. <laughs> yeah. Because it's easy to get confused. Um, uh, played more Destiny with you and uh, Lit and Mule, which is a lot of fun. How do you feel that I dragged you back into Destiny? <laughs> At first I was like, uh, do we want to get back into Destiny? I don't know. Then I remember hearing all these good stuff about it and how it's improved year after year. I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. Sure, why not? It was on offer for 25 quid for yeah. all the DLC. So I thought, why the hell not? And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's really fun. Yeah. Um, a lot better than it was, I think. Less grindy, more more stuff to do. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I think it's more accessible. Yeah, that's a good word. Now, I think, um, I think it's... <laughs> yeah, um, I'm just going to in the corner. <laughs> as, a, as a complete package, I think it's a, just a really great game. Yeah, you know fun. how I feel about it anyway, but um, I'm glad you're enjoying it and the the streams um, will be fun. We've done oh, yeah. a couple so far. Yeah, a couple. Uh, we did one Sunday afternoon, then one Sunday evening. Yeah. Which was a dual stream, one split between uh, you and Lit on YouTube mm-hmm. and me and Gaming Mule on Twitch, which was good. Good yeah, fun. Very cool. Um, yeah, looking forward to get more into that. Yes, for sure. Um, and I played some more Overwatch. Uh, I decided to jump back to PS4 because I was getting my ass handed to be on PC. Okay. I was like, I was playing competitive and it don't mean to like silver. And on PS4, I was like almost diamonds. So I was like, what am I doing? Why am I wasting my time on PC? <laughs> I can play it on PS4. I'm going to uh, re download it. You should. We and s- we're we going to play it. it. Yeah, stream it for sure. Yeah, we're going to play it. I'm going to get back into it. I, I never dedicated enough time to it because yeah. I wasn't bad at it. I don't think it's a yeah. game that you can necessarily be bad at. I think yeah, it's, it's very sort of, accessible. Yeah, it is. It's yeah, like yeah. Destiny now, it's very accessible. So I'm going to, I'll re-download it because I do have it and uh, we'll play and we'll stream cool. it. That'd Definitely. Cool. Definitely do that. Um, actually, the rare encounter uh, on Overwatch. Uh, encounter with a nice guy. He, I was playing Mercy, playing a healer. And then he actually sent me a message saying, oh, nice healing, thanks. And he gave a smiley face. I was like, oh, thanks. And then we spoke more and he got into like, the party and you know, just, there's a random nice guy on the internet. He said, How you know very it? rare. I know, right? <laughs> and we're playing competitive and like on a winning streak, like five five games in a row. Like, oh, this is awesome. We're great at this. I have my own tale <laughs> about messages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, just in a short while. Cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, played until since season three just ended in competitive. Uh, this was played until midnight when it cut off point. Yeah, which we both didn't expect. So we both forgot it was ending that night. And we're like, oh man, it ended. We're finally on the winning streak and it ended. Um, but that was a lot of fun. Good. I finally got my first golden weapon for Mercy, which is nice. Nice. I'm glad yeah. that people are still, including yourself, getting a lot of enjoyment out of it. Because I, I can just see it growing and being played forever. Yeah, they're constantly adding stuff to it. It's always just a Chinese New Year thing event just ended. Yeah, yeah, I uh, saw that. It's always new skins and new maps and new and characters. There's, new heroes. there's a new hero coming out soon. I yeah, believe. yeah. Um, it was rumored to be um, Doomfist, which is like a character in the lore somewhere. Okay. Um, but they said, no, it's not going to be that. It's going to be someone else. Uh, there's a lot of rumors going about, so it could be anyone at this point. Okay, <laughs> to be cool. honest. But it looks really cool. Um, love me some I've watched. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, how about you? What have you been playing this, this month, this week? Um, month? This month? <laughs> that's, a, that's, a lot, that's a lot of gaming to real life. It was, yeah. <laughs> um, what have I been playing? I'm not too sure, really. I've been playing, uh, I've been playing some Rainbow Six. Cool. Uh, it's Rainbow Six Siege. Nice. I'm playing on Xbox One. Sweet. Um, it's an interesting game. It's yeah. a hard game to get into at this point. Because um, like it. it's been out for a while. Yeah. But it is very good. Awesome. Um, people who play it don't like pissing around. <laughs> okay. Very serious. Um, take, their, take, take their sieging seriously. Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> well, me and Denzel were playing just the other day. And we were terrible at it. But like we'd played it before. And we, we you know, on uh, just a couple of days prior... And we were doing okay. And we were like, right, okay, we'll, we'll jump on. We'll stream it on Twitch. I was like, okay. Nice. So we jumped on and we were so bad. <laughs> there was one point where the two of us fell off the roof of a building <laughs> literally at the same time <laughs> and killed ourselves. And it was like... <laughs> nice. It's <laughs> um, a bunch of watch on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we were laughing, having a good time. Yeah. Um, and there was one point... Um, so basically, if you've never played it, there's like a, a Defend the Hostage... And attack and try and get the hostage. Oh, yeah. And uh, we were attacking, trying to get the hostage. And uh, it was it was Denzel left right at the end. And he shot the hostage. <laughs> right. Oh, God. 
and uh, literally straight after everybody who was in the team went to vote him out oh, no. I didn't and I got a message on Xbox Live saying look come on vote him out it was in French I had to Google Translate <laughs> oh, oh, I, I got the gist anyway like, when I saw the message <laughs> yeah. it, it was like exclude or something like that oh, yeah. I was like okay yeah. um, then at the start of the next round like our team shot me and Denzel <laughs> so we were dead before the game even started oh no I just played without them but it's, it's good yeah. I off that one and then um, in the next game, I thought I was being a hero by just firing bullets into this doorway. And I killed one of my own team. And oh, he sent me a message with a question mark on it. I was like, Look, I'm sorry. Oopsies. I mean, we were having a great time, really laughing. But yeah. these people must have been fuming. Oh, uh, dear. But that was, so, other than that, it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good fun. It was a lot of fun. Well, well, what I've seen of it. Which, yeah, yeah. You've got it as well now. So, yeah, um, got on, on the, the Xbox. So we'll, yeah, we'll, so get that play. we'll play that. Um, I'm trying to think what else I've been playing. I don't really think I've been playing much of anything okay. again, but <laughs> I don't, I've been streaming Bits and Bobs, not the, our game Bits and Bobs, yeah, of course, soon. which is coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, but just different things. That we Like you, we played Destiny together and yeah. uh, uh, streamed some Tomb Raider, oh, yeah. uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider on PS4. Cool. And while I was, while I was playing Tomb Raider, it made me realise that Lara Croft, the expert <laughs> archaeologist <laughs> and... Uh, World famous historian. Yes. Gives no shits whatsoever for historical artifacts. <laughs> yes, it's constantly like, wrecking stuff. She's like, how am I going to get in this door? I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll rig that massive thing over there and that massive thing over there and we'll blow it up. <laughs> it's been there. No one's been there for years. Yeah, you're ruining it. <laughs> you're doing Lara your... doesn't care. Lara's seen it. You're doing, yeah, that's true. You're doing the opposite of what you should be doing. <laughs> yeah. Preserve it. Don't yeah. blow it up. Oh but yeah, Lara blows it up, and I alluded to it on the stream, and it really made me laugh because then, and now every time I play, it, I'm just thinking, "What's she gonna blow up now?" <laughs> yeah, I, I played this game before, like all the way through, and it didn't even enter my mind. <laughs> but this playthrough, I'm like, this is one bit where there's like a massive door, and you have to just like some pulleys, and you know, you let a massive pillar go th- right through the door, and the whole thing blows up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "This is madness!" Like. There's got to be an... She's a tiny little person. There has to be another way. <laughs> Surely. And also, she's a mass murderer. <laughs> oh, right? yeah. It just guns and down She does not care. constantly, yeah. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> in the first one, in the reboot, she was <laughs> an innocent girl. Oh, my right? God. Just killed the guy. Oh, my God. Nobody... Shivering by a campfire. Hadn't used a gun before. Yeah. Um, then by the end of the game, she's just murdering, gunning down hundreds of people at <laughs> yeah. once. Yeah. She's, <laughs> she's an expert marksman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She forgets uh, all them skills going into Rise of the Tomb Raider because you have to build the stats up again. Oh, but, really? oh yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> video games. Yeah, because of video games. So yeah, I played a bit of that. And I played the new WWE 2K17 DLC. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. The Hall of Fame Showcase. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was there for that stream. Yeah, that was a and time. it was a fun stream. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I have some problems. This is just a small thing. Yeah. Um, it's... Fine enough DLC. It's probably the best DLC they've brought out for it yet because it adds a ton of content, new arenas, new wrestlers, yeah. and it also adds a showcase mode. So yeah. um, they've had a showcase mode for the last few years, but 2K17 didn't have one in favour of improved, in quotes, <laughs> career improved. mode and yes. universe mode. Um, what they consider improved, we <laughs> consider the same, if not worse. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> so, much, yeah. Just um, kind of the same. Yeah, so I, pl- I play through it. Basically, there's there's five or six matches. Uh, two involving Sting, um, two involving the fabulous Freebirds. Oh yeah. Uh, one involving Jacqueline and Ivory, and one involving Papa Shango and the Godfather. Uh, <laughs> it's worth it just for Papa Shango by itself, really, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah of course. Um, <laughs> so it's it's fine. There's video packages before the matches, and there's cool little bits of uh, uh, you know CGI cutscene oh, yeah. during the matches, and that's fine. Whatever. And then we get to the final match, which was Papa Shango versus the Godfather. Yeah. Somebody out there, that's their dream match. <laughs> like, they keep advertising it as a dream match. It's just, like... Who? who? <laughs> Who's yeah. Okay. yeah. I suppose they didn't shoehorn Karma Mustafa in there, which yeah, is his character say, yeah. in the nation, which they even mentioned at the beginning of the video package. Yeah. Anyway. I was expecting it. There's a it bit... good vibe in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, that leads in quite nicely to this. Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> We know the commentary is bad on these games. Oh, so bad. But they've so taken so it to another level. <laughs> Basically, the king is reeling off a line about the good father. Mm-hmm. 
And he does actually say the Godfather. He even says the Godfather. He doesn't say the Good Father. Yeah. He's talking about the Good Father, but actually he says, yeah. yeah. He, he should have said the Good Father. He said the Godfather. Mistake one. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the same breath, he says, right to sense, but then can't say right to censor properly. Yeah. So you think, well, okay, well, that's weird. <laughs> but then he says it again and flubs it. And it's like, hang on. <laughs> they, they can't have included the whole... <laughs> cock up in this yeah I even wrote in the comments it's like wait did they just include Zoe Lawton's yeah. flub <laughs> and then you hear him have a conversation with the person who is obviously in the recording booth with him who has sort of shown him what the line is yeah and then you hear him say it again yeah and say oh you mean good father and then, yeah. <laughs> and then he says it again <laughs> how it sort of sounded and <laughs> for god's sake <laughs> we were, I, I, I heard it I'd heard rumblings throughout the day that there was a bit of a cock up in there, but I never anticipated it yeah. to be anywhere near as bad as that. <laughs> so bad. I, I tweeted t- uh, WWE games on Twitter <laughs> and I was like, do you actually quality test your games and yeah. DLC? Yeah, it's a, how do you miss something like that? It's so obvious. <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's so, uh, yeah, it's so bad. And hilarious, but... <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. And I, I oh wish WWE God. hadn't have blocked that stream so that you could see my reaction again. Yeah. But um, that, you know, the DLC is fine it's by itself, but um, that cock-up really lets it down. Seriously. So, some, I mean, Viz asked me earlier on if it was worth it. I was like, yes, it is, but there is this in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I hope, he, I hope he plays it and tears it a new one himself, but <laughs> it's bad, and it... Basically sums up this game's life. Pretty much. Um, not te- not a bad game, per se, but full of bugs. And despite, like, a several hundred patches by now, <laughs> it's still full of bugs. And every, every, time, every time I play it on live stream, there's some new bug we find. Yeah. We're, like, stuck in the ropes or something, and like, that weird animation, or someone just floating along the ground. <laughs> yeah. In one of, new. In the Ric Flair versus Sting uh, part of the showcase, I don't know if you were in the stream at this point, but um, so. basically Sting... I was Sting and I was like in the corner and the Ric Flair AI just stood in front of me <laughs> until I got out of the corner. Oh, great. This is this, love this I was AI. Like, I was like, you're going to attack me? Are you going to do anything? No, you're not. Right. You're going to wait for me to get out of the corner and then you're going to attack me. Right? Yeah. So the WWE 2K17 Hall of Fame showcase, fun, buggy, ridiculous. Yeah. Um, that's basically my review of it. <laughs> yeah, sounds good to me. Great amount of content. Okay. Put together in an okay fashion. Yeah. But, but that okay. bug at the end is absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. I've yeah. never come across in all my years of gaming something as bad as that as far as Same. Um, audio is concerned in a game. Yeah, just... Appalling. Yeah, terrible. How, <laughs> I don't even know, even know how it even happens. I don't know. Oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, I've just been playing various random things. Cool. And nothing really. I'm going to get... There's some, there's some stuff coming out that I want to get stuck into. I've got Halo Wars 2. Oh, nice. Uh, so I'm going to play that. Um, Horizon comes out next week and I'm going to play that. Cool. Um, and there, there's still stuff that I want to... Like I said last week, I have chopped my, my hard drive down. So it's just got stuff on there that I'm playing. Nice. Got a couple of indie codes that we've been sent that I want to have a look at. Awesome. And uh, the Switch comes out next week as well. So yeah. a lot of gaming <laughs> to be done, but it's... You know, I'm trying to stream and do other stuff, so playing something solidly is difficult at the minute. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm trying to get through, like, Resident Evil 7 and Final Fantasy 15, ready for stuff that's coming out. Yeah. Like, New Near, Awesome Masters coming out soon, like, Persona 5 and beginning of April. Yeah. So all, this, all, this, all this awesome looks stuff I just want to get, have time for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we do have some gaming news. Gaming news returns this week. Hooray! Hooray! It's been a slow year so far. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Uh, we're approaching the end of February, and we finally have some gaming news. Yay! Let's start with Final Fantasy XV. Okay. So, Sweet. A King's Tale, mm-hmm. a Final Fantasy XV retro style beat 'em up, oh, yeah. launches for free on March the first on PlayStation Four and Xbox One. Cool. It looks cool, actually. I I think it looks really cool. Yeah, it's like a two D like, side scroller. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. It's like a two D side scrolling beat 'em up. Cool. Works for me. Yeah, sure. And I think it's it free like, as well, so that's good. Bargain. I think it was like a <laughs> like a pre-order thing for like mobile phones or something at one point. Okay. But uh, yeah, no, everything for everyone because why not? Sure. <laughs> and it'll have trophies, I'm sure. Yeah, probably. Happy days. Works for me. I'll pass to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate. No, sorry. Wait. <laughs> Ultra Street Fighter Ultra. 2, which is the Nintendo Switch version mm-hmm. of the game of a thousand sequels. <laughs> yeah, seriously. 
um, is going to have a, uh, a first person mode. Oh, yeah, I saw that actually. Which is sort of cool. It's weird. It's weird. So, the, the, it's obviously, it's a, it's a 2D sprite beat em up. Yeah, cool. It's Street Fighter 2. If you don't know what Street Fighter 2 is now and you're a gamer, Get out. just don't game anymore. <laughs> yeah. Go and play Candy Crush on your phone. That's the space <laughs> that you belong in. Yeah, pretty much. So, so, basically, what they've done is they've taken some of the um, mechanics and the graphics and sort of stuff from the uh, 3DS version of Street Fighter 4 oh. and that sort of stuff to create this. First person mode, so you have to make use of the Joy Cons, basically. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so uh, throwing Hadoukens and stuff. Yeah, basically, that's and cool. I guess that's kind of cool. I mean, it's yeah. going to be a very gimmicky thing that you're not going to use all the time, but yeah. um, I think that is quite a nice little feature. Yeah, that's fun to me. It's, and why not? To be honest, it probably makes that game worth buying because <laughs> probably I like Street Fighter Two as much as the next person. Oh sure, but but it's again, I, I mean, it's like five Street times now. Okay. Fighter Two. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it went on Mega Drive, it went on <laughs> 360. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, um, I think so. We'll be doing some Switch stuff anyway. This doesn't come out until way later on in the year. Wait, not did not launch title. Well, I don't think so. No, oh, okay. That if late. it is, then, then and I'm wrong, then I I'll be happily be corrected. Yeah, I'm not, but I'm not I don't doing... think it is. Yeah, I'm not keeping up on the Switch. Let's be fair. It should be. But yeah. uh, look forward to playing it though when it comes out. Yeah, be fun. Yeah, um, be cool to do a Hadouken and some other cool stuff yeah, using sure. the Joy Cons. Why not? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how limited it is. Yeah, yeah. Or whether you're sort of character limited, whether it's just sort of Ryu and Ken, or hmm. interesting, some other people like that. It's definitely an intriguing one. Yeah, for sure. I'm intrigued. Intrigued. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of the Switch, yeah, everybody's favorite WWE superstar, John Cena, do, 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 do. is helping promote the Nintendo Switch in America. I had the same thing, same note with my. <laughs> On my uh, thing, <laughs> random news. So I don't know. So, so what I what I gathered from this is I, I did read it a little bit, but I saw it and I was like, "That works for me. I'm fine." <laughs> yeah. Um, there's like gonna, they're going to be having like pop up sort of stands in America uh, in one place where you're going to be able to tw- try the switch and whatever. And for some reason, John Cena's going to be there <laughs> because <laughs> sure, why <not? laughs> yeah. because why not? Yeah, everyone loves John Cena. People will already want to play the Switch, but if John Cena's going to be there, people will go ballistic for it. Oh, hell yeah. I'll go if Cena was there. Yeah, sure. Yeah. If John Cena if he, like, did a Switch pop-up in Hinkley as the car park and, <laughs> and John Cena's going to be there, <laughs> sure, I'll, I'll attend. Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah, I'm with it. <laughs> That's such a weird, weird piece of news, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's, it's, oh, who's going to have to help show off the Switch? Mm, John Cena, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Kids like wrestling, correct? Yeah. <laughs> what's funny is they probably won't ever have a WWE game on the Switch <laughs> probably not <laughs> uh, and if yeah. they do it'll be riddled with bugs oh yeah even more so than you have to, you have to like actually punch and stuff with the Joy-Cons it'll be weird do some grappling with yeah. the Joy-Cons <laughs> what I want on the Switch as far as wrestling games go is um, there was a really good one that I had on Wii U oh yeah which was um, a virtual console game hmm. uh, which is really really good I, I can't even remember what it's called it might even just be called pro wrestling or something like that oh it's like an nes game type yeah thing. it was yeah oh, and yeah. it was actually very very good and worked really well when sure. you got good at it you got good at it and it was just like really fun to play i think i plowed hours into it on the wii u nice it was cool yeah give me that on virtual console yes yeah, i don't need Why wwe <laughs> yeah <laughs> here are the xbox one games with gold Ooh. for march nice I haven't seen these yet so we have drum roll from march the first to March the 31st on Xbox One, Layers of Fear. Uh, uh, what was that? I think you have it on PS4. Oh, yeah, that's the painting one, isn't it? Yeah, that's yes, pretty good, is. actually, yeah. Good. Is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Worth free? Yeah, well, yeah, definitely. Cool. Worth playing through. It's fan of horror games and just atmosphere. And yeah, definitely. What is it? Is it, like, is it first person, like Outlast? And... Uh, it's very amnesia-y and, yeah, outlast kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, it's not, it's not, a, it's very walking simulator-ish and there's mm. no, like, no combat, I don't think. Um, but it's cool. It's a cool experience. Okay. I'll look at that. Um, from March the 1st to March the 15th, which is an Xbox 360 backwards compatible game, nice. Borderlands 2. Okay, cool. Sure. Hi, right, Borderlands. Yeah. Fun times. This next one is a smart move, in my opinion, okay. of a way to build a dead community. <laughs> okay. From March the 16th to April the 15th on Xbox One is Evolve Ultimate Edition. Oh, yes. That game died immediately pretty much but I think this will the fact that it's free mm. and you haven't got to buy any of the extras 
will make people play it for at least for a short while. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah you're right. Actually, it's a good move. Because it recently went free to play on PC, I believe. It did. Yes. And this is a good way to get people to play it um, because, you know, like we just said, this died a while ago. Yeah, seriously. Now, I have played Evolve Mm -hmm. and it isn't a bad game. Yeah. But being the monster just isn't that much fun. (laughs) Yeah. Chasing the monster and working as a team to bring it down is. But being the monster is not fun. Yeah, it's a shame. They had a lot of hype um, built around it. And like the three other bonuses where it's all over the place. Oh, it was... It was they, they, they just did it in such a poor way yeah. that um, people turned on it instantly. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah, it um, is a real shame. But yeah, it's one I'll definitely try out since it's free. Um, yeah. It's another, another streamable one, for sure. We'll have a look at it. Yeah. But we can, we'll we can stream it. Yeah. It's free, so... See what the hell not, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think um, it'll give a little bit of light. I mean, I was looking at the comments on the Xbox um, Facebook page earlier on. Oh, yeah. Um, when they announced this, and they were like, "Oh, I'll play Evolve." I didn't really, get, I didn't play it because of the DLC model and all this sort of stuff. Yeah. So people are interested in playing it, so it'll breathe life into uh, um, an already dead game. Yeah, that's, that's good. Cool. Yeah. And then from March the sixteenth through to the March thirty first, another backwards compatibility Ooh. title for Xbox three hundred and sixty and Xbox One. It's Heavy Weapon. Oh, which one's that? Uh, I don't know, but there's a a guy pointing and shooting out of a tank on the front cover. Nice. Sounds familiar, but I couldn't tell you what it was. Uh, it does. It looks like one of them games I would have never touched. <laughs> but there it is, if you want to see it. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought... Off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what it was, but I'm sure if I saw a gameplay, I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's what it is. Once again, a nice lineup from Xbox. Yeah, we should see bad. what PlayStation Plus comes up with. I'm not holding my breath <laughs> for a great lineup. Yeah. Because I never yeah. do anymore. Yeah. I mean, I downloaded Little Big Planet 3. Haven't played it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that was last month, wasn't it? All these months, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a fine game. Yeah, not a hero, looks fun as well. Um, yeah, I, actually, to be honest, but to be honest, these are games I already have, so yeah, okay, fair play. it just didn't bother me, but um, yeah. not a hero is good, actually. Oh, cool. Okay. And Little Big Planet is the Little Big Planet. I think I spoke about it when it, the backwards compat, sorry, the uh, PlayStation Plus games for Feb were announced. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, um, it is good, worth looking at, for sure. Cool. Especially while it's free. So if you've not downloaded Little Big Planet 3 yet, go and do it before it... Is no longer free. Yes. Well, speaking of an uh, iHero, um, I was playing more Oli Oli 2 as well this Ooh. week. Stuff I forgot to mention. Um, yeah, get my way through that. I'm a, a five star everything up until like the final like le- chunk of levels, like the final five levels. Um, so yeah, I think I can How at have least. You not broken controllers yet. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I think I can at least five star all the amateur levels, I hope. Okay. And, yeah. That in itself <laughs> is one incredible achievement because yeah, that's, that's, that is not an easy game. It's not. I think the trophy for that is at 0.1%. <laughs> so if I can do that, at least I'll be happy. Um, oh, yeah. I will try the pro levels, although from the looks of it, it carries on getting harder. It doesn't like go down difficulty a little bit. No, no, no. It carries on getting harder and harder after amateur. Yeah, so after amateur level, the last one, Yeah. it, it just it still is very difficult. Yeah. So even like the first pro levels are very hard. Yeah, harder than the hardest amateur levels. Yeah, I've done so, a few yeah. of the pro levels, not five stars. I mean, I've got like... <laughs> Enough stars to get me through. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the fact that you need to get your stars to even unlock all of the levels. Yeah. It's, uh, it's it's a very harsh game. Yeah, seriously. Um, but yeah, if I can five star all the amateur levels at least, I'll be happy. I'll be happy too. I'll let you I'll let you have that. Cheers. <laughs> it's good enough. Well, yeah, it is good enough. <laughs> it is good enough. Considering that 0.1% of people have that amateur trophy. Yeah, yeah. Um... I think that's good enough. Amateur my ass. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> One last bit of gaming news. Okay. Uh, at least that I've got. Crash, the Insane Trilogy, launches on PlayStation 4 June 30th. Nice. Another little tidbit. Okay. Concerning the same game. Mm-hmm. I think this is going to be a timed exclusive. Right. You think not so? just a PS4 exclusive. Oh. Wait um, to that. Well, it's not been said anywhere <laughs> that this is a PlayStation 4 exclusive. I think we would just assume it because yeah. it's Crash. But you know that if it was, Sony would be so hot on it. Yeah. And, and you have to remember, it's Activision that are publishing this game. Yeah. And it's not like Crash hasn't appeared elsewhere before. He's been exactly, on PS2 yeah. and Xbox before. So um, so I um, think PS2, obviously. maybe... Xbox and GameCube. Yeah. So I think it'd be a timed exclusive for PS4 and then Xbox One will get it Actually, early next year. Yeah. Which surprise me. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing it though. I love Crash 1 and 2, 1 to 3 back in the day. So, so probably some of my favourite PlayStation games. Um, you're still. on that hype train? 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Definitely going to pick up. Um, I'm on the fence with it. Ooh, okay. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I've never understood the hype with yeah. Crash. I think it's, uh, I think for a lot of people, um, it's like a nostalgia thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, like, oh, I remember playing Crash back in the day. That's why they put it in Uncharted 4. Yeah, yeah. It's like a cool <laughs> little thing for people to do and that sort of thing. Um, don't get me wrong. I love... I love that. Those three games are great. Yeah. But I'm not sure I have that much interest in playing them again. Honestly, I have more interest in playing uh, Parappa the Rapper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm cool. excited for that. It'd be yeah. nice to get a release date for that. I don't... I mean, I said ages ago when that demo came out, this can't be far off being done. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it looks awesome. I'm going to definitely get it. I'm the big fan, big Crash fan. Um, but, yeah. Good, okay. Good that's sounds. cool. Fun. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, have you got anything you want to... Uh, Throw our way gaming news wise. Um, I don't actually. You pretty much get rid of everything I was going to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's on seeing the Switch thing, <laughs> which I thought was funny. And uh, yeah, Crash Trilogy. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Fair enough. Cool. So, gaming Good news, times. albeit very brief, but gaming news has made a strong return this week. Yeah. Good times. Now, as we have to, <laughs> because we are a gaming and wrestling podcast. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about. This week's round of WWE graps. Yes, let's. Right. Do you want me to uh, start off with war? Go nuts. Cool. I don't have a whole lot of notes because it was kind of garbage. And I was kind of it was it. bad this week, <laughs> actually. I fast forwarded a lot of it. I was, I'm get. I mean, <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm going to say this again. <laughs> Here we are again. But it just isn't good television. Yeah. It's um, too it's- long. Yeah, I mean, there were some cool bits in there. It wasn't a complete train wreck, like some weeks. The start um, was good. Uh, yeah. The Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn bit was good. Yep. Um, Streaming the Red Pixel wasn't that bad. I and thought. that was good as well. Yeah, yeah. I, was like, I was just going to say, I'm thinking, oh God, this is going to be slow and boring and stuff. It was actually really enjoyable. It's all so, a great story. Play. But yeah, so, yeah let's, so, so talk me through, Rolf, and we'll... Uh... Okay. So it started off with Kevin Owens in the ring, the spotlight on him. Mm. and Dark Arena which is cool uh, cutting an awesome promo saying he isn't scared of Goldberg um, he knows Goldberg's weakness is long matches which is true uh-huh. yep. and uh, yeah so that's very cool he went to talk about uh, Chris Jericho and then just dropped the microphone because he doesn't care about Chris Jericho because he's not his friend um, which is always a nice little touch um, I mean he's great he's great promo he's great everything agreed Eleven. this is the Kevin <laughs> Owens that I wanted to have the title. Yes. And not that's, the Kevin Owens that we've got or had. I had, yeah. It's, yeah, it's that thing of being the now spotlight on me kind of thing. Yeah. And that's that's what people have been complaining about. That's what I've been on Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho's been the main like, star of the show. Isn't and, it a uh, shame that they're going to take the belt off him now that he's uh, starting to show... <laughs> start, well, being given the reins to show this side of his character. The reins are... Um, <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh, no! <laughs> uh, but yeah, I know what you mean. Um, Unless they swerve it somehow and have him leaving fast lane with the champion, uh, championship, but it's unlikely, isn't it? Probably it's, probably gonna... uh, it is very unlikely. I mean, it, it's been heavily rumoured since the Royal Rumble that Goldberg was going to sort of walk out of fast lane and into WrestleMania as the WWE Universal Champion. Mm. And I don't see it changing <laughs> now, I have to be honest. I think yeah, right. everything else that they said was going to happen seemingly is going to happen. Yeah. So it's... Uh, Hey, it is what it is, and hopefully Owens will get his run a little bit further down the line. Hopefully. I'm just glad that we are getting this Kevin Owens. At least we can enjoy it for a couple more weeks. Yeah, that's cool, at least. Uh, so the first match of the night we had was uh, Cesaro and Sheamus versus Enzo and Cass. Um, every, 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 every week on, I kind of get more and more bored with Enzo and Cass. Mm. It's like, okay, we know you can talk. We know the catch raises. What else do you do? What else can you do? Yeah. And turns out not much. Um Sean mm. Sheamus had pretty much all the offense in this match and then Big Cass hit one move and one. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all the number one contendership for the tag team titles as well. So that's gonna be a match of Fast Lane. And the yeah. club versus those two. Meh. I really hope they <laughs> don't put the belts on Enzo and Cass. Yeah, same. Because that wouldn't be a good move. They wouldn't. Um because I feel like they'd be doing it for the sake of doing it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. okay, you've been on Raw for nearly a year and you've not really done much of anything yeah talked a lot but that's about it talked a hell of a lot but what are you what are you offering as far as wrestling goes Big Cass has shown promise yeah he's alright but with Enzo I just I don't find it believable 
Yeah. I mean, it's basically just a weapon for a big gas to use. <laughs> Do the match, isn't he? Just yeah. throws him out of it. Um, which is, you know, it's entertaining in its own way, but I uh, don't know. I'm starting, I'm, I mean, the Cesaro and Sheamus thing is worn on me now. I'm done with that. I know, I quite like him. I quite like, you know, kind of started off like hating each other and then, then they're more, more of a team and you know, high-fiving the ring and all that. I don't know. I sort of feel sorry for Cesaro. Yeah. Uh, I feel sorry for both guys being lumbered in a tag team because both deserve better. Yeah, I agree. But, but Cesaro always seems to get stuck in tag teams. I mean, yeah. he had the tag team with Tyson Kidd and then that was his thing and then Tyson Kidd got injured and he came back from injury himself and now yeah. he's in a tag team with Sheamus. Yeah, brief run with the belts. Yeah, very brief, brief. Very brief, yeah. Being the operative word, but um, I don't know. I, the Raw tag division is has problems. I think. I, yeah, I agree. It's not enough big teams there. No, there's not enough. Esta- I mean, the SmackDown has a plethora of yeah. established tag teams. Yeah, yeah. Or at least actual tag teams. Oh, yeah. Whereas Raw has the New Day. New Day. Baby. <laughs> and then you've got Cesaro, Sheamus. It looks like Jinder and Rusev are a thing. Yeah. And Enzo and Cass. So. Yeah, it's not. Hmm. Not, not, not the best, but yeah, shrug. What can you do? Well, yeah, nothing is the answer to that question. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of the tag team champions, uh, the next match was the club versus or um, Gallows and Anson versus Roman Reigns and another two on one handicap match. And uh, the club won. Fire DQ and Roman grabbed the chair and beat the crap out of them. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> hey, what's, what did CM Punk say? <laughs> Got to make him look strong. That's right. Got to make him look and strong. And it would appear that that is still the case as well. So, uh, Roman looking strong. Yeah. On Raw by <laughs> demolishing the Raw Tag Team Champions with a chair. Oh, yeah. God, okay. God's sake. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you notice um, Gallows and Anderson's new t-shirt is very bullet clubby? Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Mm. Cool. I like it. I want one. I also uh, want one. <laughs> yes. Maybe we should rip it off and have one that says Sonny and Finn. <laughs> we should, yeah. Just completely rip it off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Games and Grabs Club. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so then we had, speaking of uh, Hansen Rusev and Mahal, we had Kofi Kingston and Big E versus Hansen Rusev and Hard Body Mahal. Hmm. Wait, they didn't call him that, did they? Yep. Hansen Rusev and Hard Body Mahal. Yep. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure uh, yeah, both of those statements are, are factual. I mean, yeah. Because... Mahal's ripped his... God, he Christ. is jacked. I mean, Jesus, he's huge. shredded. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and uh, Rusev, you know, he's right. he has <laughs> Lana. So that well, yeah, should tell you everything you need to know about Rusev. <laughs> yeah, clearly it's something right. Yes. Um, handsome Rusev. Um, this is ridiculous, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah. So Lana um, hacked New Day's iPad, I guess, and stole their ice cream plans because Russia, lol... <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> so he just got the joke. Sorry, yeah, I know <laughs> that is definitely what they're going with, isn't it? Yep, yep. Big even mentioned it, and yeah. See, I skipped the whole segment. I oh, did. Yeah, don't blame it. No one blamed you. Um, I heard them sort of say something about auditioning to be the hyenas in the Lion King. Oh yeah, and then um, something about hosting WrestleMania, which just stinks of. Mm. We don't know what yes. to do with you. Yep, we don't to do with you. Just you know, we can host. WrestleMania yeah. doesn't need a host. It doesn't. It didn't it need one when The Rock was doing it. It doesn't need one. <laughs> it definitely doesn't need New Day doing it. No. I feel like New Day pretend to be excited about being a host, but really, you know, that they want to be in a, in a match. Especially after <laughs> this year's WrestleMania when they came out of uh, the Bootios box and they were the, yeah. they were like the the big stars. Like, yeah, just the Super Saiyans. It's and awesome. now it's sort of gotten to a point with New Day, now that they've lost the championships and they don't really mean anything... And I don't mean that in a horrible way. I just mean yeah, in a, like, what are you actually off? Like Enzo and Cass, what are you yeah. actually offering us apart from catchphrases? Exactly. It's a shame because they're actually, you know, three talented guys. Super so talented can, guys. So talented. Um, so yeah, there was a match that happened. Um, Xavier Woods got the plans back, smashed the perfectly good iPad on the stairs for some reason. And yeah, they win. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so, sorry, hard body, Mahal. Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> Oh, by the way, so Biggie during this mentioned, um, you know, obviously the joke, uh, you know, she's Russian, right? And then they get a ring and whatever. Um, that line got edited out of the YouTube footage because, I don't know. I mean, the joke is obvious. It's obviously because Lana's Russian, the handle hacking thing, mm. but they edited out a line just in case. I don't know. It's dumb. Strange. 
Very strange. WWE have a tendency of doing these things. Yeah, so, seriously. Uh, post Raw, they will just edit out the bits that they don't think should have been in there. Basically, yeah. um, it's like when they edited yeah. the crowd that time to make it look like they were cheering for Reigns, and they <laughs> definitely nobody weren't. believes that. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, with this Lana thing, it's time to drop it now. Yeah. We all know that you're oh, course, not yeah. No. Russian. Yeah, well, she's Russian, but she doesn't have a Russian accent. She's... See, she <laughs> is sort of Russian. Yeah, so I think she was born in Russia or lived in Russia for a while. She has um, like Slovakian bloodlines or something like that. Yeah, uh, but, she, but grew, she grew up in America. She has an American accent. She <laughs> speaks with a very typical blonde American accent. Like, oh my God, can you believe it? Oh my God. Literally Lana. like that. Yeah, oh my like, God. She's on Total Divas. Like, <laughs> you can't kayfabe this because... <laughs> it's on TV. It's on TV. She's... <laughs> even on her Snapchat and Instagram, she talks with her real voice. Sometimes yeah. she'll switch to her Russian voice or yes. whatever, but come on. It's bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that. Um, then we had uh, uh, Jack Gallagher and Neville uh, have a contract signing for the Cruiserweight uh, title match at Fastlane. See, naturally, I watch this part because uh, the cruiserweights have my interest, and I'm yeah. rooting for them every week. Me too. And it's great to see two English guys mm. having a great feud that you know has come out of nowhere. It's like yeah. a very quickly put together feud to, um, you know, get Jack Gallagher out of the way before the inevitable Austin Aries <laughs> Neville feud going into WrestleMania. That's gonna be good. Um, but Jack Gallagher really holds his own. And so does Neville as the heel. Yeah. This was a really good segment and the crowd seemed to be into it because I think they like Gala- Gallagher. So yeah. um, it like works Gallag- really like well. Neville as a heel and uh, yeah, good stuff. It works very well. It does. Look forward to that match actually. That head boy is brutal by the way. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> look pretty brutal, yeah. Uh, I love it. Um, so we had uh, Nia Jax versus some random jobber. Can you guess who won? I'm not sure. It Will you Nia. tell me? <laughs> it was the jobber in this kidding. It was, <laughs> it, it was Nia. And then afterwards, she cut a promo saying she wanted a title shot. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm the biggest and toughest woman here. No one can beat me. Where's my title shot? Well, she's not like most girls, Finn. She's not. You're right. Mm. Um, we, we would never know that. Listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is... I mean, she'll get her title shot. Oh, sure. are, I'm still sticking with the... Although I did have second thoughts during the promo on Raw for the women's division. Oh, yeah. But I still think Nia Jax is in the title hunt at WrestleMania. For sure. Um yeah, it's definitely right. Um, yeah, so that was that. And then there's a segment with Bailey. Um, would she give up her title or not? Because of shenanigans that happened last week. Yeah. Of course she wouldn't. No, of course not. Why would you? Yeah, <laughs> stupid. Yeah, dumb. Um, it was led into a another match with uh, Charlotte versus Sasha, Sasha Banks. Well, they're doing it the seventh time. Um, <laughs> it's a renewal of a classic rivalry. It was a classic. It was happening like a month ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's happened nearly all of last year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, it was another fine match. Um, Dana Brooke tried to interfere again for some reason. Wait, let me stop you there. Okay. Did you see the way that Dana Brooke was jogging down to the <laughs> ring? Jogging like a typical jogger. Yeah. It was so bad. It's like I'm <laughs> gonna la, la, jog la, la, like la, 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 a cartoon la. character <laughs> in slow motion. Yeah. Just so Bailey can come behind and attack me. Yeah. What stupidity. Dum, 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 dum. I'm sure I hope nobody attacks me from behind. Yeah. Oh my God, it's Bailey. Uh... I'm running <laughs> like this. I'm <laughs> running so slowly with my hands and legs in pumping movements. <laughs> Stupid. Rubbish. Yes. Um, yeah. Poor Dana. She tries, but you yeah. need to try harder. <laughs> <laughs> Must uh, try harder. Yeah, seriously. Uh, just as the Banks ended up winning with the bank statement. Which uh, further leads me to believe that it's going to be a fatal four-way at Mania. We've got Sasha's beaten, um, uh, Sasha's beaten Charlotte. Charlotte's still owns the rematch. Uh, Nia Jax wants a title match, so it's like four people there. I wanted to ask you about Stephanie McMahon's involvement. Okay. Now, I was thinking part of the way through that segment (laughs) that we were actually going to see a tag team match. Uh, Stephanie McMahon and Charlotte against (laughs) Bailey and Sasha like at WrestleMania. Oh, God. (laughs) Because... The McMahons, they love their matches. They yeah. love their WrestleMania matches. They sure do. Now, I don't think that's going to happen, but it really it entered my mind for a, for a hot minute. Yeah. I hope not. She had that one match last year really against was it Nikki Bella. Was Brie one? Bella. Brie Bella, yeah. That wasn't last year. That was, well, what? That was a couple of years ago. Two years ago, ago yeah, yeah. That was yeah, when they, had, they started that really garbage uh, <laughs> Bella versus Bella feud. Oh, yeah. Faded I wish, out. I wish you died in the room, slap. Terrible acting. Yeah, <laughs> and then... 
And then they're the best friends later, again. They were just best friends. And <laughs> it was like, well, this is so weird. So dumb. They realised they couldn't run with that feud because Total Divas. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Total uh, Divas. Divas. Um, but yeah, that was the whole thing. Um, I think you're right, though. I think it's going to be the Fatal 4-Way. I mean, we, we've sort of called it a while ago, didn't we? Yeah, for sure. But if you're not going to have Nia Jax in and around the title, what are you even going to do with her? Because you can't just squash jobbers every week. Exactly, yeah. Stupid. Stupid. Stupid all. <laughs> uh, and then they announced uh, that DDP... He's going to be in the Hall of Fame. Very Good. well deserved. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to say the same thing. Um, long time coming. Should have been in a while ago, I think. But uh, yeah, absolutely deserves it. Yeah. It, I mean, he started his career late. Yeah, that's true. And just made the most of it. Yeah. I mean, he <laughs> was awesome. Um, Martin Dixon, um, who was in the comments last night during my WWE stream, he was like, I was a fan of DDP before I even watched WCW because of playing <laughs> WCW Revenge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah, I, I was the same because I didn't watch WCW before I played WCW Revenge nice. <laughs> on uh, N64. Yeah. Then I don't know, it was just the diamond cutter and, you know, the self high five taunt was just cool. <laughs> and yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan of DDP and I'm happy to see him going not only for his wrestling, but for his contributions, helping other wrestlers, oh, yeah. um, so. you know, with his DDP yoga and stuff like that. And yeah. uh, uh, that's very, very cool and very well deserved. Yes. Super Great nice. class this year, by the way. Yeah, it's very awesome. And a uh, super nice guy over here. Yes. DDP. Nice guy all around. Good stuff. Um, so then we had Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens. A renewal um, of a classic feud. A classic rivalry, yes. Um, but before Sami could get to the ring, he got attacked from behind by Samoa Joe. Yes. He was, he was cutting. He was cutting. Uh, he was uh, dissing in a promo beforehand. Um, sort of dissing, I don't know. I was talking about that match at Fastlane. Yeah. Um, oh, so that is a real thing? I think so. Pretty sure. Yeah. Probably, it's got to be. Surely. Sure, it has to be now. It <laughs> yes. has to be, yeah. It has to be. Which I'm looking forward to, by the way. It's going to be... Oh, man, it'll be so good. So, so good. I mean... We'll probably about tonight. Joey's my favourite thing on WWE TV at the minute. <laughs> yeah. Without question. He's so good. He is. Like, he was my favourite thing on WWE TV before he came to big TV. Yeah, yeah. Like, while he was just at NXT, he was awesome there. And that feud with Nakamura where he was like, signed the contract at the top of the ramp and all that sort of stuff. It's oh, just... Yeah. So good. Just these things and the way that he... He pushes them and the way he... he like portrays himself he's just such a good heel and he's an absolute monster and it just looks so believable yeah seriously uh, I great. think Samoa Joe is probably one of the nicest people you'll ever meet <laughs> probably <laughs> but he he plays a one mean heel yeah it's like Kevin Owens as well Kevin Owens is like a super nice guy in real life yeah. but that arsehole in, <laughs> in wrestling yeah which is great I love it but uh, I can't wait for this it's going to be awesome I hope Sammy doesn't win uh, no he won't I think, I think this is going to you know it exists to make Joe look super tough and strong and badass. Be, doesn't it? Yeah. I feel bad for Sammy because it's going to be another few he's going to lose, but I think he'll get... He's the new Bray Wyatt. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. Poor Sammy. But I think he'll get his uh, his championship run at some point. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah. I do as well. Um, but yeah, um, so basically uh, Samoa Joe beat him up before the match, threw him in the ring, and then uh, Sammy's like, no, no, I'm still going to fight, I'm still going to fight. And then obviously Kevin Owens beat him quickly with a proper power bomb, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's won. What do you think to this talk of the NXT faction? I know it before. You've not heard it's, it? It's new to me. Well, you notice, obviously, Triple H took Owens to one side uh, on Raw last week before he beat down Jericho. Oh, I forgot about that, actually, yeah. And obviously, he's brought Kevin um, Samoa Joe up. Mm. They're both walking around in suits. True. Now, what the rumour is, is they're yeah. going to sort of um, have... Um, some sort of NXT faction with those two and others. Ooh, I like it. Imagine if Finn Balor comes back as a heel with Triple H. Yeah. Mm. That'd be awesome. Now, That'd be awesome. he's due back before WrestleMania, apparently, Finn Balor. Awesome. This is what Meltzer know. put on Twitter in response to somebody's question. Ooh, good. Um, I hope that's true. Yeah, yeah. And what I would like to see, if we can't have um, Triple H versus Seth Rollins. Yeah, that's a shame. Poor Seth. If we can't have Triple H versus Seth Rollins. Yeah, yeah. Um, how cool would it be to have, like, maybe a six man tag? So we have um, Triple H, Kevin Owens, and Samoa Joe against Jericho, Sami Zayn, and Finn Balor. That'd be very cool, yeah. Just something like that. I, yeah, I, yeah. You know, unless there's, you know, there's, I'm sure there's other people in NXT that I'm not even thinking of at the minute, <laughs> but they're the main two. I think the. Um, I think the faction will be sort of revolve around them. Yeah. Triple H is the, the suit wearing, never wrestling heel. 
<laughs> um, those two is like just absolute machines that could completely dominate. That'd be um, awesome, actually. Yeah, I'll be down with that. So the, the there is rumors of a faction, and you can sort of see the pieces coming together. Mm, yeah, yeah. And um, it could be very interesting. And it, you know, factions are awesome. Oh yeah, there isn't enough good factions. I mean, the League of yes, Nations exactly. was the last one that I can oh, really God. think of, and yeah. Jesus Christ, that was garbage. Garbage. Gold terrible gold. music. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, just a terrible waste of four talented individuals. Yeah, seriously. But um, this could be promising. But yeah, yeah you know, Joe's awesome. wearing a suit. Owens is wearing a suit. Triple H wears a suit. They could be called the suits. The suits, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Awesome. That'd be, uh, yeah, that'd be so down for that. Um, yeah, awesome. So, main events. Uh, well, Strowman versus Big Show. Big Show. Um, they had to reinforce the ring for this one. Well, uh. today. <laughs> and I saw that before and I was like why do they do this yeah. why Why do they think that we're stupid enough to believe that this ring can't hold yeah, these gonna... two big guys yeah seriously there's a bunch of guys like, t- like touching the ring before they must like, <laughs> no, oh, yeah. make sure it's reinforced it's oh god no all you. these ropes that was not really doing anything <laughs> uh. <laughs> there was more people around that ring than it takes to actually put the ring up <laughs> yeah seriously Tugging at ropes, lifting the apron up, and not doing anything. <laughs> it's just like, why? So dumb, yeah. Uh, this this match, uh, before going into it, I sent you a picture on WhatsApp oh, yeah. of the tail of the tape thing, that, which I hate when they do that. Oh, God, so dumb. Like, especially when they put their finishing move on there as well. It's like, no, don't do that. Yeah. It's stupid. This guy's bicep is slightly bigger than this guy's yeah. bicep. Oh, my God, what does it mean? Nothing. His finishing move is a punch. <laughs> God, yeah. KO punch. Oh God! I was sending you a picture. Like, why do they do this shit like this? Yes. Um, yeah. Dumb. I hate that stuff as well. Um, but it's, it's, it's as we said earlier, it was a surprisingly decent match. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was kept up by Strowman, which is crazy. It's not even size. Dude, um, huge. It's, yeah. Um, also back and forth. Strowman ended up winning with uh, not one but two power slams. Looks like he struggled a bit to get him on the shoulder. Yeah, I think the first one they they uh, they messed up a little bit, but come on, yeah, it's, it's got to be tough to get a guy the size of the Big Show up like that. <laughs> yeah, seriously, no, not everyone can be seen him and just do it effortlessly. Effortlessly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, effortlessly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was alright. And uh, Strowman kicked out of a choke slam and a KO punch, which you know, got to make it look strong. Um, yeah, yeah, cool, good stuff. Big Show still got some life after him. Yeah, I think so. Um, this match had no right to be as good as it was. Yes, it's And not. I think it shows that there's still room for the big men in WWE. Yeah. Um, so. Because, you know, on the indies, you don't really get it. Yeah. I guess you do, but, yeah, not, there, but as not, not as much forced as... as it used to be in WWE. Yeah, yeah. For sure. But, yeah, I'm a big fan of Strowman. Um, and yeah, I just showed, yeah, again, as you said, big shows still got life in him. And, uh, yeah, did some, even got some This Is Awesome chance out of it. So Yeah, and yeah. it was... I think right it was good it. that it was the main event, and I think it was good that they were given time to put on a match of a decent quality. Yeah. Um, to show what two big men can actually do. It yeah. doesn't have to be boring. I mean, the match started great. I mean, they were doing like, um, you know, like they were doing headlock takedowns and yeah, technical stuff, and yeah. you know, it was good. I mean, it was. It just shows that big men things don't always have to start with a test of strength. <laughs> oh God, yeah. Uh. Put one arm up. Oh. And then test it. Te- got to test that strength. Who's the strongest big man, me or you? Test your might. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but it was good, and I enjoyed it. And yes. I'm, uh, I'll be happy to see it again. To be honest. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's finally good. Um, but yeah, after the match, uh, Roman Reigns music hit. Literally straight away. Literally straight away. One, two, three. Derna. Derna. <laughs> Ooh. Literally booed out the building as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, came down, tried to attack uh, Strowman, but I got got a power slam for his trouble. So good. Um, serves you right. Good. We're haired bastard. Yeah, jackass. <laughs> you jackass. Um, so yeah, it's not a complete terrible show um, episode of War, but not the best. Again, this is something that this is a show that could have been easily condensed into two hours, oh, yeah. and it would have for made sure. for a much, much better wrestling show. Agreed. Um, but I'd give it two and a half stars at War. I will. What out of ten? Out, out of five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Are it we doing this now? Is this a new thing? Star ratings after Raw? Sure. We we started it a little while ago, but then kind of forgot. <laughs> I know we started doing pay-per-views, but then we forgot to do Elimination Chamber. Oh, yeah. We're so inconsistent with things that... With good ideas that we think of. We're like, yeah, this is good, then just forget. Yeah, so we'll try and make this a weekly thing. Okay, so, so I give Raw two stars, just because of how much crap filler there is in there. Yeah, you're right. I give it two and a half, because the main event was surprisingly good. Sure. Um, yeah. So that's it for Raw. Uh, we just do SmackDown. SmackDown, much better, in my opinion, this week. Um... SmackDown's much better most weeks. Yeah, you're right. 
So it started off with Naomi having to give up the women's title because she is injured and uh, won't be able to defend it within the required 30 days. <coughs> Brock Lesnar. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, Stand Wine has to come down and just like apologize because he's obviously been doing the same thing. Um, and yeah, the will be back for uh, WrestleMania, I'd imagine. This is a sad thing. Um, yeah. It's becoming all too frequent as well. So Daniel Bryan had to do it, Finn Balor had to do it now, where Naomi's had to do it. Um, it's It's not fair. I mean, Naomi's just sort of got her moment and now she's having to get the belt up, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, upset for her, but I'm happy <laughs> because uh, <laughs> because of uh, what happened. Yes, let's let's game down. Ended well, I was last champion. I was the one who injured her, so maybe I should be the champion, right? Said, and Daniel Bryan was like, yeah, big going to fight for it. Had a match with uh, Becky Lynch, which was actually a really good match. Uh, probably the, the two best women's wrestlers on SmackDown right now. For sure, uh, yeah. Opinion. Um, really good match. Uh, Alexa Bliss ended up winning uh, by shenanigans and like jabbed her in the throat when the referee wasn't looking, and then like uh, cheeky rolled up for the for the tights. Good. Yes. Alexa, Alexa Bliss. Bliss is a superb heel. Oh, yeah. Shouldn't Excellent. have lost the belt anyway. I know I said this last week, but um, I'm absolutely delighted that she's got it back. Yes. Um, very cool. You know, through crappy circumstances, of course, but yeah. um, she still has it back, and that makes me very happy. Me too. I think um, Naomi won it back at WrestleMania. Because uh, it's our hometown, and still have that moment, that'd be nice. You should have an incredible entrance. Oh, yeah, yeah, crazy. Lights flashing everywhere. They've got to <laughs> wait until it. Is it indoors this year? It is, isn't it? Uh, I have no idea. I don't think so. I have no idea either. Yeah. Let's just say yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it, will be good, it will be a good entrance anyway. Yeah, yeah, it will be. Uh, so, yeah, that was a cool little moment. Um, so, then we had uh, the Breezango versus the American Alpha. Because why not? <laughs> uh, Breezango attack before the match starts. Uh, but then America now will still win because they're the attacking champions. And they're invincible. Yeah. Remember last week when they were down and out? Oh, yeah. The down and out. Tension. All they had to do was pin them and then they still ended up losing somehow. Ugh. Yeah. Um, but I don't want us to turn on American Alpha here because no, no, it's American not Alpha's their great. fault. But no, it's, it's booking. Bad booking. But, um, yeah. So they show off, turn off the leaf show. It's like a electric chair into a bulldog thing off the top rope. Which is from the Steiners used to do, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's nice. Um, and the Usos uh, with the crowd with the microphone saying, "Yo, Us, Us, yeah, Us, we're gonna we're gonna beat you up, Us, Us, Us. Yo, we're, we're gangsters, gangsters now. now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, cool. Uh, I thought it was a pretty decent promo for the Usos actually, considering what they had, <laughs> considering what they had before with just like, like saying Us family Us. Yeah, um, I thought it was pretty good, very intense, and uh, I like it. Your hamster is going nuts on the cage. Uh, <laughs> he 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 doesn't want to live here. <laughs> he wants to escape the cage. He does, and. He just can't. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> oh, wait, back. It's Dolph Cena the hamster. Yeah, Dolph Cena the hamster, that's it. <laughs> uh, uh, so then we had, yet again, we had Nikki Bella versus Natalia for the 27th time. This time, a full count anywhere match. Sure. Um, Who cares? Yeah, I was struggling to care about this rivalry. Um, yeah, I, I, I was struggling to care about it upon its inception, but <laughs> yeah, it's, um, true. And they've dragged it out so much, I can't believe they've got this much life out of it. Yeah. Somehow. Somehow. Uh, hey, you guys. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so bad. So bad. We still don't know if she's wearing underwear you under there. We still don't know. Yeah, it's a mystery. It's forever a mystery. It's forever a mystery. One day we just got to tweet her and ask her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, just go, look, nah, I'm we sorry, yeah. but we need to know if you wear underwear under there inside. <laughs> So laughing at your hamster, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Typical, uh, typical Dolph Ziggler things, hanging on the cage and just let go and land on his face. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's perfectly fine though, perfectly healthy. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just help my hair, it's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> still, still in the show, hamster. Good old animals. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it was, a, it was an okay match. Um, lots of weapons, lots of jumping around off things. Uh, Nikki Bella did like a uh, back jump kick off the barricade. Natalia then said very loudly into the camera, good job. It's well done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're, the, you're the bad guy I'm not to say that um, then there's like an Alabama slam on the announce table which didn't break the table uh, I uh, hate that me too if you it's, know that someone's going to go through the table that night then just don't reinforce it yeah seriously just like Alabama slam isn't going to do it anyway because it's like just awkward moves to get on the table um, <laughs> then there's a drop suit in the ring which she got to the ropes, which shouldn't matter because it's a fourth get anywhere match. It was even seven commentary, but then she let go anyway. For God's sake. Uh, how long have we been doing this, Natalia? Ugh. Then 
Uh, Nikki Bella got thrown into Maurice backstage, so that's definitely going to be a thing at WrestleMania, for God's sake. Uh, yeah, there's something else happened later on in the night, which yes. uh, yeah. is definitely definitely going to ha- make this match happen. Uh, no one wants it. Um, Look, like I said last week, if it has to happen, it has to happen. Yeah, I guess. And if it gives them something to do at WrestleMania and keeps them away, keeps big big match John away from that big belt. I guess so, yeah. Then fine. Fine. Um, Nutalic got thrown into a mirror, which looks bloody awful. Luckily, it was like a stunt mirror, I guess. Otherwise, he would have had like stars of the last thing on face. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it ended, ended up uh, Nikki had uh, Natalia in the SDF, which I will not ever call a fearless lock because that's stupid. Definitely never call it that. Like, ever, ever, ever. It's a dumb, stupid name. Uh, and then Maurice out of nowhere beat Nikki to death with a steel pole or something. And then uh, Natalia won. Great. <laughs> Great. Great. All of this just to set up a WrestleMania match yeah. between Nikki Bella, John Cena, and The Miz and Maurice. Yeah, well, at least this ends a feud with Nikki and uh, Natalia. This is true. At least it's over with now. Thank Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we, we spent far too much time talking about that. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> uh, so the main event uh, was a 10 man battle while to determine the main, to the, uh, main event of WrestleMania. Very wise opponent. Uh, we had Dolph. Ziggler, John Cena, Galisto, Baron Corbin, Apollo Crews, The Miz, The Miz, Luke Harper, and of all people, Mojo Bloody Worley. Sure, yeah, I mean, he, he's, he'd be thoroughly deserving of a spot in the WrestleMania main event, should he get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, seriously. Um, and also, uh, AJ Styles and Dean Ambrose as well. Um, sure. And it was a really good match. Yes. When I first saw 10 men by Royal, I was like, ooh. Really, 10 men at once, it's going to be weird. Yeah, sometimes um, it can be really sort of messy, but if done right and the spots are done right, it can actually work out pretty well. I mean, yeah. the, I hate the bloody 30-man battle rolls that they have. It's just ridiculously it's crazy, crap. Yeah. yeah. Like, they all go brawling at the beginning of the match, and then uh, no, no one knows what to do but punching kicks because there's there's no yeah. room for moves. Exactly. It's, it's dumb. But it's actually right. Um, Corbin got eliminated. And then, uh, Major Wally got eliminated first, eliminated by uh, Baron Corbin. Good. Thank Christ, yep. Yeah. Um, at one point Ambrose tried to catch Galisto doing the flippy thing but then just kind of fell down good yeah. yes <laughs> poor Galisto Galisto's like the unluckiest luchador yeah <laughs> he's, yeah he's so bad like, all the bosses are on his fault we just, just can't uh, I don't know the guy can't catch a break he can't he's never recovered from the interview <laughs> oh yeah he's doing this lucha thing <laughs> yeah woo uh, <laughs> poor Galisto <laughs> then uh, uh, poor guy yeah Dolph Ziggler ended up eliminating Galisto then Apollo Crews eliminated Ziggler uh, Dolph Ziggler grabbed the chair outside and uh, smashed Galisto with it. Um, and then Apollo Crews is like on the rope, on the rope saying, hey man, what you doing? And then uh, Baron Corbin <laughs> threw him out <laughs> while he was on the ropes. Uh, <laughs> hey man, what you doing? Hey man, what you doing? Up? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we got eliminated while I was leaning over the ropes like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it come in. Oh my God. Yeah, who, who do you know? So that, that rivalry is not over. Yeah, that's Good definitely thing. Yeah, that's fine. Do we um, see Apollo turn heel eventually? Do we reckon? Do we just uh, just keep wishing for it until hope, it happens? Hopefully. Okay. We can wish. Uh, there's some cool signatures with uh, AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose, and The Miz in the ring, which is cool. The Miz. The Miz. Um, Tina il- eliminates The Miz. Again, it's definitely going to be a thing. Yep, Going definitely. Forward. Got got to enhance that rivalry. Yep, absolutely. And then uh, Dean Ambrose eliminated Baron Corbin, which is another feud. Um, then Baron Corbin pulled, pulled him underneath the rope and hit him with the end of days on the outside. Ouch. And then out of nowhere, the Miz comes back and eliminates uh, John Cena. Sure, because... Both snaps and leggings. Because of rivalry. Yeah, more rivalry. Stuff. Yep, that rivalry. Got to got to promote it. Yep. Got to push that rivalry. <laughs> and the Miz ran into the crowd and like, mocked Cena and did like, you can't see me. Good. Sort of, sort because of, of rivalry. Of course, yeah. Rivalry. <laughs> um, so it was down to uh, AJ Styles and Luke Harper. But then, nope, Ambrose is still in the match because he only got pulled under the rope. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Tried to eliminate both at once, uh, but was uh, unsuccessful. Uh, uh, Luke Harper eliminated Dean Ambrose. Then, on, then during the supporter thing, wrote down, side note, AJ Styles versus Luke Harper to be a match I'd totally like to see because Luke Harper is super underrated and AJ Styles can bring out the best out of anyone. Yep. And then, looks like my wrist might come true because uh, they both got eliminated at the same time. So, uh, Next week, it's going to be a match between those two, I can imagine. Oh, um, yes. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. which is going to be awesome. Cause, and uh, you imagine Luke Harper's going to win, right? Uh, you think so, because Bray White versus Luke Harper and probably Randy Orton as well. Triple threat. There's no way Randy Orton isn't involved in the <laughs> oh, main yeah. event at WrestleMania. For well, sure. at least that match for the title. Yeah, for sure. It's because 
but otherwise what's the point of the way Wimble yeah <laughs> so that's definitely gonna happen uh, which is cool I'll look forward to that match and uh, yeah that was the Dinsha replay of, of it because uh, if you watch it back AJ clearly landed first like it's not even close <laughs> he had the floor <laughs> first and then Luke Harper kind of rolled out I was like oh Ah, okay, good. And if you watch the replay on YouTube, they can really cut the camera away right as they land. Do they really? Yeah, yeah. That old classic. <laughs> yeah. So, oh man, who hit first? Oh, we'll never know. Maybe we should show a replay. Nah, that's not. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 we no, know. no. <laughs> but we saw it. No, no, you didn't. No, no, no one saw it. No, so no, that... I did it. Agent, no. Nope. No, he did not. <laughs> nope, no, nope. It's it'll not be, it'll at wait, all. Wait, wait, misery forever. <laughs> <laughs> but I was in the front row. No. Nope. No, 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 no you weren't. <laughs> no, we've edited you out as well. <laughs> yeah. No one saw it. You can even hear the crowd afterwards sound, Luke, 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 Luke. It's just Lily Luke Harper, but nope. No. <laughs> That's good it happen. Yeah, of course. Uh, but yeah, Dan Brown came down and was like, oh, this will be decided next week. Um, so yeah, cool. That'd be a good match I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what would you rate uh, SmackDown this week? Three and a half. Cool. I give it the same thing, three and a half. Because SmackDown is good. It is good. But SmackDown's shorter. If SmackDown was three hours, I'm sure it'd be filled with garbage as well. <laughs> yeah, probably. But it's, it, the fact is, it's not, and it's a better show. It is. For it. Yeah. Um, I I just don't ever see Raw being two hours again. Uh, no, it's a shame. Just because of money. Yeah, they make too much money on like, ads and stuff. So Yeah. Uh, it's a shame, but it is what it is. We'll just watch SmackDown instead and moan about Raw. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a cool episode of SmackDown. I liked it. Well, WWE is starting to do this cool thing every week. I don't know if you've seen it. Oh, yeah. like where they do slow motion video packages of like their main events. Oh yeah. Like so for the Battle Raw this week they've done like a slow motion highlights package of it. And it's actually very, very cool. Cool. Just check it out on Facebook. I will. It's about the one good thing that Facebook is good for. Yeah, seriously. I think that's on YouTube as well. Yeah, it probably will be, yeah. yeah. They're garbage YouTube channels. <laughs> yeah. It's all show spoilers, like directly after the thing. If yeah. you accidentally happen to go onto YouTube <laughs> before watching Raw that night or that morning when you watch it. Yeah. Um then Here's John Cena on the championship. Yeah. Oh well, there you go. Yeah, you go, you go on, you go on to YouTube to see how your own channel's done overnight. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, because you like WWE, a WWE video once upon a time, their yeah. uh, their YouTube channel will just flash up all of the spoilers. Yep. Here's is Alexa Bliss on the championship. Oh well, guess she won the won yeah. it back. Good, great. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't help themselves. Yeah. WWE is so bad for it. So bad. For the worst. Finn. Hello. This week's episode of the Games and Graps podcast <clears throat> was brought to you by the letter P for Papa Tango. Thought I was going somewhere else. For penis. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if there was a wrestler once called pe- penis. Penis. Penis, yeah. <laughs> just, because, like, just because Vince McMahon. Yeah. Man. I'll be a fan of penis. What? <laughs> what an interesting thing to say. <laughs> uh. Oh, your laptop is locked. Beat it up. Sorry? Your laptop is locked, by the way. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, it's still recording, it's just... We can't see it. Okay. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Just having a look. I'm sorry, cool. uh, that's the, the silence. <laughs> oh, in the heart, that's not even going to be. You've gone too far. No, 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 no. He's on O, which is on the same page as the, where uh, the P start. I see. <laughs> Paul Orndorff? Go on, man. Look how young Brian Kendrick is on that Paul London and Brian Kendrick. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> picture there. Very young. Wow. <laughs> Perry Saturn. Remember Moppy? Showtime Percy Watson. Yeah, oh, yeah. Now commentary on NXT for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that sounds, sounds like a fan of the one. <laughs> <laughs> Fantasio. Fantasio. Have you done Fantasio? I don't know. I think we might have. Yeah, have we done P? God, I keep thinking there's what you done. We did P because we did PG thirteen. Oh yeah, of course because Viz called us out for not knowing the Nation of Domination song with them in it. <laughs> oh yeah, which by the way is terrible. <laughs> Sorry, Viz. <laughs> Sorry, Don Fantasio. Because I remember thinking, oh, wait a bit. I saw him in some random YouTube video. No, I don't think we've read this. Have we not? Oh, okay. Okay, Fantasio height. Six foot three. Cool. Weight, 235 pounds. He's not from anywhere, though. Okay. Okay. Mystery from uh, parts unknown. A master illusionist, Fantasio made his WWE debut on Wrestling Challenge in July 1995. Okay. Following a few awe-inspiring magic tricks, the WWE newcomer made short work of his opposition, Tony DeVito. You know the one. Sure. 
After the match, the magic continued when Fantasio myst- mysteriously removed the referee's striped underwear. Oh. Despite the fact that the official was still wearing his pants. Yes. Interesting. Sure. <laughs> With a 1-0 and o professional record to his credit, Fantasio <laughs> strangely disappeared <laughs> from WWE, uh. never to be seen again. Legend claims he was the victim of a magic trick gone bad. <laughs> nice. Fantasio. Fantasio. This week's episode of the Games and Graphs podcast was brought to you by the letter P. Yeah. P. P. This has been the Games and Graphs podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. You can find us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play. Yes. Thank you very much for listening. This has been episode 52. We will see you next week. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, Finn. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Bye. Divas. Divas.